This golf course has, I think, one of my favorite layouts, just because it's interesting, but it's not like old school, stupid, tricked up. That should do. Second shot of hole one. 120 on the dot. Go. Cut a little. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. Oh, give it to me. You dog. Thank you. Man, that rolled out a lot. Yeah, I was trying to. It's short. This one's tricky. Uh, it's not a driver. For me, with the big draw, you got this big tree on the right that makes you uncomfortable. Commit and stay over it. And it'll go straight at that tree with the Y. That was not great, but it'll work. What? Four iron poorly, but it's in play. This hole's a little bit of my nemesis. I think I can get a nine iron there. It's warm. Uh, this is a tough, tough green. It's a tough green. There's a slope that divides it in half. That and I'm strong, man. Hitting the ball a long way. Uh, turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Dang it. Wrong club. Should've hit the eight. Dude, my problem is I've been hitting that eight iron like 160, 165 yards. I know. All of that is true. All right, walking up to the green. That pin is on a ridge. I'm in a bunker. Green's gonna slope away from me. This is going to be a tough shot. Inside 10, 15 feet is pretty good. Ah! ah! It's just a tough shot. Well, in retrospect, hitting that bunker was a distance. Uh, this is a tough putt. This is why I didn't want to go long from the fairway. But being long in a three is even worse. But so my mistake was from the fairway because I knew that from the fairway. I was trying to put my second shot over here and I blocked it into the bunker. And then you got nothing, you're dead. Double either way. Pretty poor from the middle of the fairway. Little skinny, uh, Easy one. On the right side of the Ah. Well, it's not in the way if I go around it. This hole's a little tighter and uphill, but straight away. Right over that mound. Alright, so lesson learned there is the driver is too much. This is a really, really narrow path. Because I gotta hit it a hundred and some yards low. And a lot of kind of chase. I've got a seven iron. Anything 
Near the green is good, but trying to judge the distance is really hard. Not awful. We'll go past where yours is. I'll take it. Ah, what's this going to do? Yeah, I don't really want to put a wedge on it because it can run away from you. Yeah, it'd be hard to stop it. But not terrible. Yeah, it is tighter and downhill. I tried to Come save back. it. Come back. <laughs> That's trouble. That's probably trouble. Well, that wasn't good. I found it. In the bushes. Bad swing. And now you're taking a penalty and you're still 177 yards away. With no shot, so we're probably staring double in the face unless we make some really good decisions here. See, it's gonna take me at least four to get on a par four. Ouch, that doesn't happen often. Mistake was off the tee. Tight. I've got a little bit of an injury. It gets real tight up here with driver's gonna land. I should have been hitting a driving iron or a three wood at most. That was the mistake. See if we can avoid double and learn from it. It's gotta go a little maybe? It's not bad. Uphill 12 feet for par, or for bogey. I'll take it. It's a pretty big hill. Like I said, I thought I hit that wedge pretty good. I didn't think I was 20 feet short. I thought I had 10 feet. Still not high enough. All right, let's see if I can start making better decisions. That's where I'm frustrated. That's just a mental mistake, hitting freaking driver on a hole I didn't need it. Good luck. Still in the bunker, I think. Yeah, it's just a bad swing. Oh, I got away with some stupid, stupid stuff here. I know. I'm trying to be dumb, and the course is letting me get away with it. I say it's letting me get away with it. I've made two dang doubles, so I haven't got that much away with it, but... That's it! This one's a little weird because it's got one of those kind of infinity looks where it's like the green looks like it falls away from you. I think I've played this course a lot, I might like it because so far it favors this little baby fade, right? It does. It's just driving me crazy so far. Yeah, thanks. Dealing. What that is. All right, I'm gonna play smart for the rest of the round. I've gotten away. Having two doubles is probably lucky. I've had a good couple of good birdie looks too, but having two doubles is probably lucky. This hole, again, is a little tight. It's a lot tight. The problem is why this course is tough is because it doesn't really get less tight taking less club. All right, I'm gonna hit that radio tower. Hope for the best. Draw a little bit, draw a little bit, draw, uh, it's, that's gone. That's gone. That's gonna be real close, my man. I need a soft kick, it landed right in front of that bush. Might not be my best decision. It's in a little clearing right there, surrounded by junk. It's not good, right? Yeah, realistically, I wanna advance this 50 yards, 100 yards if I'm lucky. Most of that's gonna be roll. But the question is, can I get through all this and actually hit ball? This is dead, so I can move it. As long as it's not attached. All right, this is where you gotta keep your eye on it. Just focus on the golf ball. Get on grass. Get on grass. <laughs> I might be able to hit the green from there. It's entertaining. 67. I got to hit a low cutting seven iron. Under, up, over, and around. That might be trouble. 
making this golf course pretty hard so far today. Every shot, I'm seemingly in the crap. Just trying to punch out. That's gotta be, what, the fourth or fifth shot I've hit with weeds and brush in my backswing? I mean, goodness, on the struggle bus. Trying to slam it in. Another double. Wow. Yeah, that hurts. All right, you gotta stay over it. This left is dead. Stay over it. Make sure it starts right at the top. As good as I can hit it. Thank you. That's the one right there. Thank you. Thank you. Woohoo! Yeah, I, I kind of was thinking about hitting my hybrid. I took the driving iron out of my bag for a short time. All right, the fairway. Executed to plan. If it draws, it draws. Go a little. Go a little. You're right at it. Go. That's it. Thank you. Just off the back apron. That was a little scary. Settle. Settle. Well, through nine holes, it's not going so well. Three doubles on the card. Uh, all the misses to the right have hurt me. Uh, I love this course. I haven't played it in a while. I didn't realize how much it favors a fade. And then it's a lot tighter than I remember. Uh, a lot of those tee shots, you really don't have a lot of room to try to shove a driver in there. I was stubborn, tried to hit a lot of drivers and pay for it. Every time I missed to the right, I was in some kind of tall grass or had to take a drop. Uh, I was also stubborn in terms of club selection. If you look at hole six, that wasn't that difficult of a shot. I could have just hit four iron 200 yards out there and had a wedge in. Instead, I forced driver and got really lucky not to be in the long grass there. So lots of poor driving. If you look at traditional stats, I only hit two fairways. I only hit four greens. So that might tell you that uh, my approach game was also poor, but that's really not the whole story. My driving was putting me in a bad position. If you look at strokes gained, it clearly reflects that. I lost 3.2 strokes to a scratch handicap, uh, mostly on holes four, five, and six where I was in trouble. Uh, seven, I was also punching out of the thick stuff. If you look at approach, I actually gained strokes. I gained 0.7 shots on a scratch handicap, which is good. I uh, really was hitting the ball well with the exception of hole two where I left it short, and that was really a good strike. I just chose the wrong club. Short game and putting, I basically played to a scratch handicap overall to lose 2.7 strokes to a scratch handicap. But again, almost all of that was just driving, trying to hit driver into really narrow fairways and missing into thick stuff was not a good recipe on the front nine. Got nine more holes. Let's see what I can do on the back nine.